It's as simple as bowing your head and saying a few words of thanks, but prayer is under fire in Tuscaloosa County. WVA's Danny Salter spoke with a man who's concerned about separation of church and state. David Bowles is the president of the Tuscaloosa County chapter of Americans United for the Separation of Church and State. Well, our chapter formed about five years ago. Uh, one of our uh, earliest members uh, realized that there were sectarian prayers being offered at the county commission meetings, and that was a concern. That concern has ballooned into full-fledged focus. Bowles told us his group has taped prayers during Tuscaloosa County Commission meetings over the past five years, and they don't like what they're hearing. Uh, they're all in Jesus' name. They're all sectarian. And according to a uh, circuit court ruling a couple of years ago, within the circuit, uh, it's not permissible to have purely sectarian prayer. Bowles told us when civic and municipal leaders pray to Jesus on the job, it makes people who aren't Christians uncomfortable. Well, it, it would have to make you wonder going up before the county commission whether you're going to get as fair a hearing as you would if you were a member of that uh, religious persuasion. Tuscaloosa's city leaders pray while governing as well. It's a pretty standard prayer, and I guess I'm the only one that uh, noticed it, but our prayer is pretty generic, and um, I don't think there's any problem with it. We don't identify like I would like to, uh, to specific our deity, but we do pray. Non-specific and generic prayers are fine with bowls. He told us the county commission should use a basic non-denominational prayer like the city uses. Bowles has asked the county commission to invite people from differing faiths to lead the prayer or just not pray at all. In Tuscaloosa, Danny Salter, WVUA News. Tuscaloosa County Commissioner Reginald Murray told WVUA that any resident is welcome to attend their meetings and lead their prayer.